Howdy, howdy. Welcome to the Spaceman Citizen Band Radio Hour. I am your host, Solomon and Sunglasses, D.B. Cooper on the CV radio, but most importantly, your friend, the fantastic, the groovy, Baby Flame. It's good to see everybody again. It's been a minute, been a couple weeks. We've been real busy uh, getting some stuff moved around, getting some stuff changed up. And uh, we're going to start with a couple of those changes coming down to uh, your favorite hangout, Gary Spillman's Mud Sports Emporium and Tiki Bar. So the first thing on that list, the news from the Tiki Bar, is it's summer. So long-time uh, customers of our company will know that, that means Mudslide Mondays are back. For those of you who don't know, a Mudslide Monday is uh, has two meanings. Obviously, it means we're selling mudslides. So that's meaning number one. Meaning number two is it means the mudslide is back. Now the mudslide is a mudslide. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's a giant ditch that we've dug out from towards the top of Ghost Mountain to the bottom. Now the state keeps telling us that we're not allowed to do that. That that thing's not safe for people to ride. But we've got like nine waivers you have to sign before you get on it. And the state doesn't like to drive all the way out to where we're at anyways. So come on down. Get you some mudslides, and anybody that makes it successfully to all the way to the bottom and doesn't leave in an ambulance gets a month supply of mudslides on old Gary's dome. So it's worth it to try it if you like our mudslides. And if you don't, it's still worth it to try it because you get a picture on the wall. Now, you get a picture on the wall if you die too. That only has happened like four times ever. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, the second thing, a uh, little less fun news. Uh, it's one part public apology and one part uh, announcement. So it turns out Judge Anthony Davis of Ghost Mountain, Kentucky, a friend of the show, <laughs> one might say, uh, Judge Davis uh, informed us on Tuesday, I think it was, that we are no longer allowed to call the tacos that we serve uh, with all of the uh, extra roast beef the Slutty Sally Taco uh, as part of our well, not our, but Gary's settlement with his ex-wife, Sally. So, no more, I know, I know, but no more slutty Sally tacos. Um, and honestly, I don't know why we wanted to call it that anyway. She's a really nice lady. She's always been really good to me. So, no more slutty Sally tacos, but the fun part of it is we're going to take recommendations for what we should call the tacos down in the comments. So, leave a comment if you think you've got a better name for our tacos with all the roast beef and uh, <clears throat> vodka. So yeah, <laughs> anyways. Uh, and lastly, this week in the order of business stuff. So it turns out our sponsor that we had in the last video did not actually still operate as a business. So the ad agency that we're going through apologized. They're gonna make it right. They tell us they've nailed it this time. So. Uh, I'm going to throw it to TJ, the DJ in the booth, and he's going to roll an ad, and we'll be right back after this message. It's elegant. It's exciting. It's exclusive. It's fun. It's sophisticated. It's Zachary's Share the Fantasy. And we're back. All right. So, last week I mentioned that we were going to start doing some stuff in Gran Turismo. Now, locals, which are pretty much the only people that watch these videos, uh, all like two, three dozen of you, Locals will know the Gary Spillman Mud Sports Racing Team uh, from our uh, lack of victories, let's call it, in the Ghost Mountain uh, Shine Run Classic that we've competed in for the last 12 years or so. Uh, we've never won one time. I don't imagine that we're ever going to win, but you know, it's fun. It's fun to dream. It's fun to dream. So, uh, but for those of you who don't know, and those of you who are just curious who's going to be doing this online thing with us, so that's going to be myself, uh, T. 
TJ, Teddy Johnson, Banana Choker. Uh, everybody knows him. He's the DJ most nights down at Gary Spillman's Mud Sports Emporium and Tiki Bar. And uh, the new guy, our intern, uh, he's our social media intern. It was his idea to do this whole show. I still think it's a bad idea. But our social media intern, Aaron, I can't remember his last name. Uh, he's never done any real racing. I've got a picture of him somewhere right here. Uh, so I think that says everything you need to say about him if you don't know him. Uh, so yeah, so it's going to be the three of us. We're going to be playing Gran Turismo 7. I think we said we're going to be racing Lancers. And if anybody wants to join us, just drop your name down in the comments. Drop your PlayStation 4 and or 5, uh, do they call them gamer tags? PlayStation IDs, whatever it is. Just drop that down there. We'll add you as a friend. We can all play Gran Turismo together. I think that'd be fun. I think that'd be fun. And if you don't want to, fuck you. All right. Now, like I said last week, I would really like to uh, keep you all informed just as a fun little thing. Just as, you know, my little editorial bit on the kind of stuff, media, that I've been enjoying in general uh, here on the Spaceman Citizen Band radio show. And so this week, a little backstory. So in 1994, when I was, I don't know, 38, 39 years old, I was working for a man named Artie Yamamoto uh, in the northern parts of Japan. <clears throat> and we were selling VCRs to Russian tourists. And it doesn't matter where the VCRs came from. And it doesn't matter why I was there or what they needed me for. But the important thing is, one time, Artie was short on money. So he decided to pay me with a Super Famicom and a copy of Tokumeki Memorial. Now, I didn't read one iota of Japanese other than the part that meant bar and bathroom. So that was it for me. But with a lot of willpower, some medium tier Japanese beer and a conjure dictionary, I played a, you know, a good little bit of that. I spent the rest of the summer playing that. I got a lot of bombs. I wasn't very good at it. And if you know anything about the game, the bombs are bad. The bombs are bad. If you know, you know. But uh, we went through it. Now recently, very recently, in the last month or so, there was a fan translation, finally, after like 30 years of Tokameki Memorial. They call it Heartthrob Memorial in this translation. I'm not wild about that change, but what can you do? But there was a uh, there was a change. They did do that. There is a translation. And I wanted to play it for the channel. But the Mud Sports team said, Drew, baby, you cannot keep playing this stuff these 30 year old video games for this channel. No one wants to watch that shit. Nobody cares but you. And they're right. So what I did is I played a remake of Diokusei, which is a game that predates Tokumeki Memorial. So it's actually like 32 years old or some ridiculous garbage like that. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But what I didn't know when I decided to do it for this channel was that it's highly pornographic in nature. So that's an oopsie on me. That's bad on old baby. But I went ahead and it did not stop me from going ahead and installing the patch that makes all the uh, dirty bits come out in the game. So we played that and uh, I've had a good time so far. I haven't finished it yet. I'd really like to do a full review on it as well as a video on Tokumeki Memorial. Uh, that being two of my favorite games. Uh, or one of my favorite games, and one game that, you know, it's in the running for my favorite game I've played this year. Anyways, and lastly, lastly, I've got the Cowboy Bebop hat on. I've got a Cowboy Bebop hat on. Just to uh, illustrate the fact that I would really like to do one of my classic, meaning I've done it one time, classic You Are Wrong About the Cowboy Bebop reboot. Because I see a lot of y'all flapping your gums you're all talking a lot of shit about the Cowboy Bebop reboot, about why it's good, why it's bad, and it turns out you're both wrong. It's good and bad for reasons that nobody's addressed but me as the sole uh, authority on media in general, and specifically uh, Japanese anime, a white man from the Appalachian Mountains. That's all you need. That's all you need, especially when it's this white guy. So I'd like to thank you all for coming to the show. I'd like to thank you all for your continued support and your patronage. Come on down to Gary's. Like I said, leave your PlayStation Network tag there in the comments if you'd like to play some Gran Turismo with us. And uh, as always, guys, just remember. <laughs>